In this collaborative demonstration, we are seeing four different artists and engineers using Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Revit, Adobe Substance Painter, and multiple instances of Omniverse View. The live sync between these applications is being maintained by the Omniverse Nucleus server. In this demo, we have Jay, Ashley, Kevin, and Dave all collaborating from different locations. Let's take a look at how these artists are leveraging the Omniverse collaboration platform. Kevin, in the bottom left, is loading the landscape from 3ds Max and aligns it to the Revit building. Dave, in the bottom right, adds windows on the building in Revit with instant results in Omniverse View. Jay, in the upper left, adds the auditorium interior variants using 3ds Max. While Jay in the upper left toggles ceiling dome variants in 3ds Max, Dave is testing results by changing the time of day. Dave in the lower right toggles flooring variants, while Jay connects his interior decoration 3ds Max scene to the stage. Jay in the upper left, in 3ds Max, is adjusting the artwork position. Ashley, seen in the upper right, is adding indoor plants using Omniverse View. On the upper and lower right hand side, both Dave and Ashley are painting vegetation simultaneously from their own Omniverse View instances. Dave loads in the cityscape in the bottom right and places it around the building, while Ashley in the upper right is still working on the landscaping. Kevin, in the lower left, can be seen adjusting the time of day. Dave in the lower right is working on the landscape. He's assigning new materials like the water surface, and then adjusting the time of day. Ashley in the upper right adds a centerpiece in 3ds Max and a chandelier. Dave in the lower right adjusts the time of day and his camera. He's exploring creative options, while Ashley in the upper right is an Adobe Substance Painter editing the art pieces. So in this demonstration, you see how four creatives can collaborate and really explore possibilities in context. Modify CAD files, inserting thousands of polygons worth of foliage, interactively changing the time of day, and all of this while never having to do a single test render.